Good day everyone! Welcome to Science 10. We are now in our quarter 2 and this video is intended for our week 1 and 2 which is the module 1, Electromagnetic Waves. So before we start, let's have first the learning objectives. Compare the relative wavelengths of different forms of electromagnetic waves. After going through this module, you are expected to First, describe how an electromagnetic wave is produced and propagated. Second, find out who the significant proponents are on the formulation of electromagnetic theory. And third, compare the relative frequencies and wavelengths of each electromagnetic wave. So this module is divided into three lessons. So let's have now the lesson one, which is the nature of electromagnetic waves. So, how are electromagnetic waves produced? Electromagnetic waves are produced by a charge that changes its directions or speed. Electrons are charged particles that can produce electric and magnetic fields. But in order to create the vibrating electric and magnetic fields that are the characteristics of an electromagnetic wave, electrons must move. A charged particle such as an electron moves back and forth or vibrate. A changing magnetic field produces an electric field, and in the same manner, a changing electric field produces a magnetic field. So meaning to say, electromagnetic waves will be produced if there is a movement of electrons, and it creates the presence of the magnetic field and electric field. An electromagnetic wave is made up of an electric field and a magnetic field positioned at right angles to each other and to the direction of the motion of the wave. So as you can see here in the animation, the electric field is the blue colored wave while the magnetic field is the red one. So they are positioned into right angles meaning they are positioned into 90 degrees to each other. Since these fields are located at the right angles to the direction of motion of the wave, electromagnetic waves are considered as transverse waves. This means that both electric and magnetic fields oscillate perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the propagating wave. So in short, these fields are moving back and forth. Like other waves such as water waves and waves of a rope, electromagnetic waves can carry from one place to another. But unlike other waves, electromagnetic waves do not carry energy by causing matter to vibrate. It is the electric and magnetic fields that vibrate. This explains why electromagnetic waves can travel in a vacuum, but it does not mean that electromagnetic waves cannot travel through a medium. They certainly can. Light, for example, can be transmitted with a medium as through the atmosphere or without a medium as through space. So we have here the properties of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are known to possess the following properties. First, they are produced by accelerated or oscillating charge. Second, they do not require any material or medium for propagation. And third, they travel in free space at the speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 power meter per second. Let's now move on to lesson 2 which is the proponents of electromagnetic wave theory. And we are now in the proponents of the formulation of the electromagnetic wave theory. When we say proponents, they are the advocator or supporters of the said theory. So we have James Clerk Maxwell, Heinrich Hertz, Michael Faraday, Andre Marie Ampere, and Hans Christian Ørsted. So let's have first know who is James Clerk Maxwell. James Clerk Maxwell, an English scientist who developed a scientific theory to better explain electromagnetic waves. When Maxwell used this field theory to assume that light was an electromagnetic wave and then correctly deduce the finite velocity of light, it was a powerful logical argument for the existence of the electromagnetic force field. He noticed that electrical fields and magnetic fields can couple together to form electromagnetic waves. Maxwell discovered that a changing magnetic field will induce a changing electric field and vice versa. Next is Heinrich Hertz. Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist who applied Maxwell's theories 
to the production and reception of radio waves. The unit of frequency of a radio wave, one cycle per second, is named the Hertz, in honor of Heinrich Hertz. He proved the existence of radio waves in the late 1880s. He used two rods that serve as a receiver and a spark gap as the receiving antenna. Where the waves were picked up, a corresponding spark would jump. Hertz showed in his experiments that these signals possess all of the properties of electromagnetic waves. Next, we have Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday is probably best known for his discovery of electromagnetic induction. His contributions to electrical engineering and electrochemistry were due to the fact that he was responsible for introducing the concept of field in physics to describe electromagnetic interactions are enough for him to be highly recognized. But perhaps it is not so well known that he had also made fundamental contributions to the electromagnetic theory of light. We also have Andre Marie Ampere. Andre Marie Ampere made the revolutionary discovery that a wire carrying electric current can attract or repel another wire next to it that's also carrying electric current. The attraction is magnetic, but no magnets are necessary for the effect to be seen. He went on to formulate Ampere's law of electromagnetism and produce the best definition of electric current during his time. Lastly, we have Hans Christian Ørsted. Hans Christian Ørsted, a Danish physicist and chemist who discovered that the electric current in a wire can deflect a magnetized compass needle, a phenomenon the importance of which was rapidly recognized and which inspired the development of electromagnetic theory. Along with the proponents, the basic principles of electromagnetic wave theory has also been formulated. After years of rigorous studies and experiments, the following principles came about to explain the electromagnetic wave theory. Number one, many natural phenomena exhibit wave-like behaviors. All of them, water waves, earthquake waves, and sound waves require a medium to propagate. These are examples of mechanical waves. Number two, light can also be described as a wave. A wave of changing electric and magnetic fields that propagate outward from their sources. These waves, however, do not require a medium to propagate. Number three, they propagate at 300 million meters per second through a vacuum. Number four, electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. In simpler terms, the changing electric and magnetic fields oscillate perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the propagating waves. These changing electric and magnetic fields generate each other through Faraday's law of induction and Ampere's law of electromagnetism. These changing fields dissociate from the oscillating charge and propagate out into space at the speed of light. And number five, when the oscillating charge accelerates, the moving charge electric fields change too. Lastly, we have the lesson three, which is the electromagnetic waves, frequencies, and wavelengths. Electromagnetic waves, frequencies, and wavelengths. The electromagnetic waves, or EM, are often arranged in the order of wavelength and frequency in what is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Because all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed, if the frequency of a wave changes, then the wavelength must change as well. Waves with the longest wavelengths have the lowest frequencies, while the waves with the shortest wavelengths have the highest frequencies. The amount of energy carried by an electromagnetic wave increases with its frequency. Arranged according to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum displays the following waves. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays at the high frequency N. It is important to note that these waves do not have an exact dividing region, so you can refer in the image being shown below. Since all EM waves travel at the speed of light, then the spectrum of wavelengths is exactly opposite to the spectrum of frequencies. In other words, wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional to each other. As frequencies increase of the EM spectrum, wavelengths decrease. So that means radio waves have the longest wavelengths and gamma rays have the shortest. The different types of electromagnetic waves are defined by the amount of energy carried by their photons. Photons are bundles of wave energy. From among the 
EM waves, gamma rays carry photons of high energies while radio waves own photons with the lowest energies. With regard to the wavelength properties, radio waves can be likened to the size of a football field while gamma rays are as small as the nuclei of an atom. Gamma rays, X-rays, and high ultraviolet are classified as ionizing radiation as their photons have enough energy to ionize atoms, causing chemical reactions. All electromagnetic waves can travel through a medium but unlike other types of waves, they can also travel in a vacuum or empty space. They travel in a vacuum at the speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 power meter per second and denoted as C, the speed of light. The wave speed, frequency, and wavelength are related as shown in the following equation. V is equals to wavelength multiplied to frequency, where V is the wave speed expressed in meters per second, the frequency is expressed in hertz, and the wavelength is expressed in meters. So let's proceed now to the summary of the lessons. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy. James Clerk Maxwell formulated the electromagnetic wave theory which says that an oscillating electric current should be capable of radiating energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. Heinrich Hertz discovered the Hertzian, which is now known as radio waves. Hertz is the unit used to measure the frequency of waves. An electromagnetic wave comprises of an electric field and a magnetic field at right angles to each other and to the direction of motion of the wave. Electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum because they do not require matter to exist. Electromagnetic waves are produced by a charge that is changing direction or speed. All electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8 power meter per second. The EM waves are often arranged in the order of wavelength and frequency in which known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Frequency describes how many waves per second a wavelength produces. Wavelength measures the length of individual wave in meters. Waves with longest wavelengths have the lowest frequencies and waves with the shortest wavelengths have the highest frequencies. So that would be all for week 1 and 2, module 1, Electromagnetic Waves. Thank you, God bless you always, and keep safe everyone!